G'day! Welcome back to Minecraft Down Under. This is episode 26. So guys, last episode, we were almost finished with our... I don't even know what to call this. We need a name for our farm. That's right, we need a name for our farm. But uh, this monstrosity in front of you that we've been working on is a crazy fast XP farm, crazy fast gold farm, also an automatic bartering, barterer with an automatic storage system and disintegrator. All built into this one, one awesome machine that we're currently constructing. Now, at the end of last episode... Uh, data sort of messed up. <laughs> uh, well, I, I, I mean, I really did mess up pretty big. So, um, I was meant to be pretty much finished this. I was going to do some off-cam prep work and, you know, finish it up. And we're going to work on the base today. But that went out the window because I noticed at the end of last episode, while removing the slabs, thinking it was a slab problem of blocking the redstone signal, no, it was actually Data's big, big mess up, big like derp moment of doom, um, that I built the sorting system, come up here, I built the sorting system one block too high. So, I spent my day tearing it out, and relaying it back down. And as I was tearing it out, I told Venom, oh, I screwed up, I accidentally built it too high. And Venom's like, oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, Data, that uh, one of the fans pointed that out. And I was like, really? You tell me that now? It was at the very end of the oh, What a pain in the bum. So yeah, fan did actually point it out that it was, was officially... Um, yeah, <laughs> it was it was officially broken because it was one high. But guys, I spent the day, I fixed it. Look, it's now one one block lower. We've got the filters. Look, I got filters set up now. I literally went along. So I've got gold. I've got uh, rotten flesh. I've got crying obsidian. I've got obsidian. I've got ender pearls and soul sand, uh, nether bricks and string and uh nether quartz and iron and uh gra bloody gra but gravel and uh leather and last but not least the fire charges so all this now has been sorted into its proper chests now yeah that's right so the actual storage itself is is pretty beast like um if you come down there you go that's the actual storage it is definitely not a small small storage unit um far from it i've got to obviously there's, there'll be some random items in some of these like chests and stuff due to the fact that i t had to tear out one actually there's one thing i gotta do before i continue this episode is i gotta go up and i've gotta remove get my hoppers back hang on a second you'll know what i mean in a second down i go and i've got to get um, so, see, so, to move it down, I had to remove the chest layer that was in here, um, and I moved it all, uh, down, because it was one too high. So, I'm going to grab, because now the, now that's the buffer chest that flows straight into the first chest here. So, this block here, this, this is actually not needed anymore, so I can get a bunch of my, um, what's his back, which is good. So, that there, that row first row is actually not needed <laughs> oh i'm a silly goose there we go got a bunch of those back but um yeah so now it travels directly straight into there and then the hopper will take it to there and then back forwards back forwards back forwards all the way down okay excellent so that's now fixed up that's bloody brilliant now let's first things first we got to get the disintegrator up and going so yeah i spent my day doing that not too impressed but you know it was my own stupid mistake nothing i could have done about it i derped up pretty bad i fixed my mistake and now we're just on the final stretch yay for light let there be light so the disintegrator is now fully operational so that's good and what we'll do is we need to hook well we need to get rid of these chests now literally so probably what a good thing to do for now is break this and put a just put a go ahead and put a chest up there and literally sort of like drain this stuff out da, 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 da. there we go the only thing i don't have is the only thing we're not keeping is boots and potions and stuff but we're keeping the rest so go ahead and just sort of spam this in it should work 
Like, this is the first time we're, you know, throwing items through it. Unfortunately, we can't just hook a thing under, underneath it. We have to slowly feed the beast, if you know what I mean. Now, there's no one... There's none for spectral arrows, but this was going for five hours. And to be honest with you, five hours and only ten spectral arrows? Just saying, it's probably not worth having a, uh, a slot for those. Just, just put, putting that out there. <laughs> just just putting it putting that out there so yeah all this has got to be sorted into the machine which is slowly but what we got to do also is see this side i didn't get around to it i've got to d uh get rid of actually can i oh i might be able to to move that straight over there or just funnel it straight away i'm not actually i'm not too worried I've, we're on a quest for 1000 levels that means i'm probably gonna have so much stuff it's not even funny um, so see this section, we didn't even take this down from last episode, that's got to come, well, that's got to come down now, yep, so take that down, like, you know, literally beep beep, reverse it up, I'm hoping tonight I'm going to do some AFKing, but I'm probably going to use it to enchant a full new row of gear, new pickaxes and stuff, that's what I'm probably going to do with the first lot of XP, so this is no longer needed, this... Uh, see, that wasn't meant to go in there, but that's no... This this whole section here is not needed. Um, we just need to figure out where can we... Um, where can we sort of cut it off from? So I'm just going to build a scaffold up here for now. So, okay, so it comes down. It's got to go through the gold filter. Like, there's always got to be a gold filter because that goes down to our auto bartering system, right? That's how the bartering works. So we can take out this filter and this filter... That's not a problem. Gone. Gone. Yep. Take it all out. This is no longer actually needed because we're transporting it downstairs to that filter. Right? Right. So this filter is going to be a single solo filter now. Go ahead and grab all our yummy stuff back off of this. And just remember to leave the first filter up and going. Alright. See? There we go. And we'll grab this back. This back. Okay, so now um, what we need the line to do is we sort of got to come up here now. There we go. Um, we've got to... So they come down, so it's got to probably go at the bum here and then down there. Or should we just make it go around, like loop around and down? At the end of the day, we want it to come down. So first things first, where are you? The hoppers we've been getting back. Let's relo relocate those bad boys down directly in here. You know, make that come up. Perfect. All right. So now we just need to. Yeah, we'll probably have it come straight through here. Just, just being totally honest with everybody. Just the straightest path possible. But it's got to go over this here. It's got to go over. So we sort of got to come out here like this. So, boom, and then, well, actually, and then turn, turn it, and then sort of come over the top of itself, probably, is the best way. Because I don't want to take it near the redstone. When you take hoppers near redstones, things can just, they can just happen, which sucks. You know, things stop working. So, let's just do a Yui. All right, there we go. Yeah, take it around. To be honest, this should be, fill, should be downstairs as well, but you can't. Can't do that, so now go over here, and what we'll do is just boom, 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 boom. Make sure there's a what? No, it's got to, there's got to be a one gap. Has to be a one gap data. All right, sneak down here. Up we go. Oh, flame and galah. Up we go. Um, up there. Make sure it doesn't go over that. That's a bit perfect. That looks all good to me. And then come. Oh no. Oh jeez, I screwed that up. All right, now this should start flowing in perfectly downstairs. So come over here and just connect that into directly. Perfect. So now all this is connected with downstairs. As soon as we start AFKing, gold, um, rotten flesh, everything will now start flowing le legitly straight downstairs. And that's what we want. One night of AFKing, we're probably going to feel that sorter with rotten flesh because look look 
This, oh, give me that back. Like, literally, this is like about four and a half, five hours worth. All these double chests that we have here are all chockers right now. Chockers of rotten flesh, chockers of, uh, uh, yeah, gold, gold nuggets and rotten flesh right now. That's only four and a half hours, just say, give or take, of AFKing. Like, 266 levels of, of, like, pure AFK. So, if I was to do an eight hour stint tonight, that there, like that, you'll probably find the first, f literally the first two layers is going to be full and gold nugget, gold nuggets and rotten fleshes will flow over. Because we've got, we, as you can see, we built the overflow protection system. So if anything manages to get itself 100% full, it's just going to sort of go off the edge, like going, hey, this is gold, this is 100% full now. It will just go right around and get disintegrated, you know, until we sort of turn it oh hiccups there turn it into um gold bars someone did ask me hey data am, am i gonna um am i lit literally going to uh like turn all the the nuggets into bars to be honest not 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 if i don't need to because as look at look at this this was just like five hours four and a half hours of afk a solid eight hour run even plus that you're probably looking at gr like much greater See, and it's, it's hoppers and hoppers and hoppers of stuff. I've got to keep transferring this stuff over. I try to fill up the, you know, start draining all the stuff. Oh, to be honest, we need to keep the glowstone. They've removed that from 16.2. So that's just a free lot of glowstone dust there. And magma cream, uh, to be honest, like, uh, nah, I'm not even going to keep that. Soul sand, sorted, like li literally gold. And then we're getting iron too. I forgot about that. We're actually, it's like a mini iron farm all built into one. It's, this thing is flaming nuts. So, and it's still draining in. There's just nothing we can do. <laughs> more iron, more obsidian. It's an obsidian farm. Yay. Throw that in there, and throw that in there, and look, throw those two in there. Bloody brilliant. All right, keep that going. So the only thing we need to do now is turn these hoppers, if we can. So come down. Uh, all right, come underneath here. So see how we got this hopper here facing into this chest? Go ahead, break this. Go ahead, break that. And go ahead and turn it into straight into there. And then... Same with back here now. This will hook it straight up into the actual system. So there and there. So nothing is now going into these double chests at all. Zero. Absolutely zero things are going into these chests. So now it's actually hooked into the big beast of a... Oops, see, I can see one flashing right now. What is, what is this one? What is this one? Oh, obsidian is nicely flowing down and into our monster storage so that's great um oh, we've almost emptied this so let's keep going let's try get these up there that's going to be disintegrated i might put a buffer chest in for uh yeah put a buffer chest in if i can for i want to keep some of the potions like the potions of fire resist i might put a buffer chest in just to catch some of them Maybe the splash potion of resist too. I might keep some of those. Like, let's go ahead and just put a chest on the side for now. Like, just over here. Yep, we've got a double chest here. And let's just say, hey, we'll put these in here for now. Plomp those bad boys in. And just plomp, um, get get all those fire resist potions. Because they're going to help us building, right, in the nether. So, at the end of the day, get, get all those bad boys inside. That's the free. Free for me. <laughs> uh, cherry red fa ferrari <laughs> love that movie um let's go ahead and just like yeah empty all these free fire resist potions any more no nope, doesn't look like it um can't spot anymore two in here there we go all right boom boom aha done <laughs> so and then just sort of finish it off grab all these uh we'll keep the spectral arrows too We'll pop those bad boys. Very rare. After five hours, only ten. That's ridiculous. Um, and just plomp that, that, and that in there to go. Bye-bye. All right, break this chest now. Not, No longer needed. Um, now this section. All right, so we've got more glowstone dust. Um, ah, the, those can go. What, all the ender pearls can come with me. 
they get sorted out in the right chests. Boom, 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 boom. Yeah, there we go. We're really getting a move on now. Alright, and then do, 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 just sort of go along. We're draining it. I'm going to break the chest and just leave these to despawn, probably. Just saying. Oh, that's almost full. And, alright. Alright, the iron is going to come in handy, trust me. There we go. So, yeah, our slaughtering system is up. Oh, gee, she's 100% full. You know what, I'll just pop it in here. You know, that goes, flows down there eventually. <laughs> it can only take so much, Captain! <laughs> Alright, uh, you know what, we'll bring a soul speed and a soul speed three. Actually, just take threes. Just leave these to despawn. Bye-bye. Boom, 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 boom. All right, leave those despawn. All right, and just pop these two in here for a later date. Perfect. All right, she's all sorted. All done and dusted. So now what I'm going to do is, just in case, I'm just going to go ahead and now block it completely off with glass all the way along. Just in case, you know, the front end of it anyway. So these guys can still see out if they if they need to. And, um, yeah, and they can constantly... Bless you, Venom. That's all good. And, uh, yeah, that can constantly keep bartering. But there we go. Now, the only thing we need to do is probably make it rain with gold. I can literally slowly turn these in gold, but I'm not going to even bother. You guys ready for this? It's going to be nuts. This is our, like, last little section bit here. We've got to ouch do, but here we go. I'm going to make it rain. Gold for everybody. I'm going to grab those two back because I'm going to need them. Got the chests ready. All right, so these first two. Boom, boom. All right, take these two out. Data, you're being wasteful. Yeah, I, I, come on, I see the comments already. No, no, no. Tomorrow morning I'm going to wake up and then I'm going to have uh, uh, the entire sorting system absolutely so full that I can that it's going in the disintegrator. So, all right. Did I just... Oh, I just lost that one. So, at least we're cleaning all this up. Far out. My frames are so low. Look at that. Woo! <laughs> that looks cool. That is a lot of flame and gold. What are you doing? like, what are you doing? I'm, um, I'm just removing a section out here, V. Um, are you going to pick it up? No, I'm not going to pick it up. It's going to despawn. That's the, that's the plan. Data. Yes, that's me name. Don't wear it out. Data. Yeah, that's me. That's what, what? Oh, oh that's not freaking nice, that. You deserve it for being... Oh, crap. You are joking. Thanks for the bloomin' jinx on that one. That was the karma train for being so wasteful. Toot toot. Yeah, toot toot. Karma train. Blubbin' struth. Alrighty then, guys. I am back. Um, most of it has despawned. I've gone ahead and removed the rest of the chests out. They are completely gone now. Um, everything is coming together nicely. But... Um, Every, yeah, nearly, nearly everything is automatically sorted. I'm just throwing the rest that I've accidentally picked up here, uh, back in the sorter. Okay, so let's move on to the next step, guys. The next step is literally start cleaning up as much as you can. See this? We're not meant to be here. So this, all that's got to go. This floating block's got to go. Leave these glass blocks. Don't touch them. We'll come back from that. So remove that, remove that. So a lot of things now has to be removed and fixed up so that's got to go reverse your bum up like just keep going like reverse this like this doesn't need to be here anymore um all this needs to be removed yep take it out take it all out we got a super chat from shannon thank you very much for sponsoring and supporting the channel once again shannon much appreciated she says in a custom super chat message data is being wasteful what a surprise crying face laugh laugh Really, Shannon? That's not very nice. <laughs> Alright, so take all that out. Look at that. It's cleaning up nicely. Finally up to the clean stage. Because as of now, I can AFK, guys. Finally! That quest to a thousand is getting closer and closer. So, this bottom level now, guys, has to be... Yeah, I'm going to have to go along and fill it all in. Because these are all slabs. And we're going to successfully... We're just going to successfully 
this is going to be the bottom floor. The only thing I've got to do is get item frames or something to put on the chests. Um, so if you come along here, um, yeah, this is all working perfectly. Like, the rotten flesh is filling up really quickly. Crying obsidian, obsidian, ender pearls. We've got this farm is a beast of a farm. Okay, what else can we get rid of? Like, this is coming along nicely. Oh, get my thingies back from there, back from there. But this is a monster of a machine. All right, up we go. Uh, we can get rid of... Uh, give me my pick back. Give me it. Um, get rid of that. That. That's no longer needed. Um, I've got to put glass on the top of this, I think. Yes. So now what we've got to do is start worrying about... Uh, oh, we don't have to put glass. We can put slabs on top of this. So this is going to be all maintenance. Eventually, you're not going to be able to see it. So slab as much as you can of it so just nothing can spawn here. Um, you know, sometimes Minecraft can be a bit bit buggy when it comes to spawns and they'll spawn on top of redstone and all sorts of weird things. I, I, I think everybody has seen all sorts of weird things when it comes to Minecraft, but that's all sealed up, half slabbed up. I'm going to even half slab the back here. This is all going to be slabbed up. There we go. Um, they shouldn't... There we go. Look, it's not affecting. The redstone signal's not getting affected, so don't stress because I know some people are going to say, Data, it's blocked off, but it's a half slab, not a full block, so she should be just fine. All right, so run this all the way through, and what that is literally going to do is going to stop anything from spawning on the back here. Like, it's just a, it gives it a 100% chance nothing bad's going to happen. There we go, and also on top of the hoppers, slab it, might as well. Look at how clean this is coming together, guys. That is bloody brilliant. Oh, I forgot this. There we go. Alright, perfect. Uh, once this chest is all gone, um, we can go ahead and remove this chest. That's no longer needed. And uh, that's it. The this is going to be just the maintenance floor here. Our uh, bartering system is working just fine. Everything is coming together what else Fl go up here oh what's on this level let's go ahead and remove this level this is actually not needed anymore too see look at this we're on good cleaning today there we go remove it all yep no this doesn't need to be here anymore so it becomes more of an open air area the only the top level and the storage level should be shown well should be getting access to Okay, so go ahead and sort of remove all this. I think it's falling down onto there. That's okay. Um, oh, that's right. This two times wall that we had here can go. There we go. That can literally go now by keep the filter here at all times. That's filtering our gold out um, for the bartering system. And that can, that can be... That's fine. At the back here can go. That can go. Yeah, more surface area the better the more cleaner it's gonna look holding shift so i don't accidentally fall i want to get rid of those pieces of cobblestone as well they don't look all that great so that can go i'll leave a little bit of a runway here just just in case um that we're going to need it so what we'll do is sort of do that take this out and just sort of leave it like a double wide runway to get access to anything that may that may need some work and go ahead and do the same thing over here guys see that look that's a valid spawn position you don't want that well don't do that go ahead and just fill that in no more valid spawn positions looking good get rid of this too perfect good stuff some of the stuff may have fallen down into our big storage unit but nah look at that look at that so much cleaner up here so much cleaner so come on up um our chanting is fine look at that everything is works just yes we are really ready to just afk literally literally just ready to afk now it is at nearly the 100 percent mark of done yes we have to put i have to build a room around this so it looks even better but at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the day, I think it's going to be brilliant. 
There we go. Alright, done. Perfect. Whoop! Oh, that could have been bad. Alright, so yeah, the rest of this now needs to be filled in with any slabs that we have spare. And what I'm probably going to do um, is we've got to have... Now we just got to probably relook at the ladder. I've never happy with that ladder where it is. And probably build up the sides here with glass just to protect it. So that back end's probably going to come off of there. And we'll just have gla like a glass. Unless I could do... I got plenty of the, the, the stone brick. I could literally just do stone brick all the way along here and box it all up, but it might look really bad. I put like giant windows in. Actually, I might box it up and put like big, like big tall windows in. It might look a lot better. Um, and then I might almost encase, not really encase, put like an outline around all the pads to make it look pretty. Then showcase video time. Legit showcase video. And this should be going straight up. Yeah, that's perfect. I am fully happy with how this now turned out. Let's go grab some eggs. Uh, uh, yeah, go grab some eggs real quick. And let's get this puppy up and going, get some XP. I might be doing some enchant. And, oh, I've got to bring over some bloody, um, what's them call it? Um, I think down here we put two things that I need. I need, where are ya? This. So let's put a chest for all the lapis. We're going to need it, and I did put something else in here, so yeah, well, we've got plenty of chests. Oh, here we go, grindstone, yep, to disenchant, like, take a chance that we don't want off stuff, and an anvil, that will help us a lot. So we'll move those upstairs as well, um, and we're down here for eggs, and, oh yeah, so we'll probably have an egg chest as well. Let's get rid of some of this, some of this, there we go. The egg, what the eggs are for, if you haven't seen the machine actually functioning, it is to just aggro our piggy that is in diamond armor. It's got one of my old diamond pe uh, chest pieces on on him. That's what's on him. So he doesn't despawn because we didn't, we haven't traded for, um, yeah, we haven't traded for a, um, um, uh, a name tag for him yet because I'm gonna name that piggy that piggy that I'm gonna hit all the time after a fan I reckon <laughs> It's gonna take a while for me to uh, uh, Yeah <laughs> All right up up we go up on the top level here And now we come over to our secret little thing We just take this and we probably put that there and to be honest I probably need more than that for later, but it doesn't matter boom boom if you really want to so it looks better how cool is that? We got that going. I'm happy with that. And we need to put a chest up here now. And probably stick the chest in the middle. So we can put the lapis, you know, in there for enchanting. Brilliant. That's that's nice. And eggs. Um, eggs may need to just sit on the, the side here. There we go. So the egg, we got like, like a constant supply of eggs. Just have like a single egg to get it going. There we go. This is, this is beautiful. All right, let's go test her out. Make sure she's all working. All right, sit down. Aim. Steady. Oh, go a bit closer. And fire. Oh, sorry about the noise, guys. I did turn down my sounds a little bit more. But here we go. Welcome to your doom. <laughs> I just watched that XP flow in. I love this farm. This farm is so overpowered. Now all those gold swords should be flowing down, all the gold nuggets, the rock flesh, the gold bars should be getting bartered for. She's a fully functioning machine. She's got to have some adjustments, like I want a buffer chest before the disintegrator, I think, would be cool. Um, and a few other things, but I'm not worried about it at this time. 18 levels already. Legit, 19. It is a bat out of hell. This bloody machine is awesome. <laughs> oh, crikey. <laughs> oh. Yep, they're just like a clown car. Flame and galah, it's perfect. Even behind us, everything is just functioning as it should. Yeah, I'm going to probably do an 8 hour stink tonight guys, I'm going to give that a try. 
I'll see what we get. Like I'm probably I'm gonna use all the um, I'm gonna use all the XP to get me a full set of pure awesome gear. Actually, we've got five five or six ancient pieces of debris in the in uh, the uh, lava lake in in our nether port, like on our nether hub. So I should really start looking at getting even more powerful gear. Haha! <laughs> but look at it. Almost 30 guys. How brilliant is that? But the quest to the quest to 1000 levels is probably gonna start after I get all my gear. Done 30. I can enchant something. That's bloody brilliant. There's no actual way to turn the farm off. The only way to turn the farm off which I'll have to explain in the showcase video, 31, is literally to come back out here um, and literally go down the ladder. There we go. Like, literally go down the ladder and go right down to the bottom. But nothing should spawn down here. It should be a full safe zone, if you know what I mean. But there we go. All right. And that there should have reset the entire thing. But that's beautiful, guys. I just can't believe we got to the final stage here of the beast of the farm. It's and let's let's check it out from a distance. It should look a lot cleaner. So come out here. There we go. Look at it, much cleaner. Those piggies are still trying to get me. I can see it from them running. There's probably tons right there. But we oh geez, here they come too. Whoop! <laughs> <laughs> Not meant to happen like that, but hey, oh crikey, but fantastic, finally a build, this build, so now I just need to, you know, give it some walls and stuff, make it look pretty, showcase video, and then remove all these chests, take them home, yeah, brilliant, brilliant, alright guys, we're gonna go ahead and call it, thanks for watching episode uh, 26 here of Minecraft Down Under, Join me for the next episode where we'll probably um, start working on our um, back, well, back on our main base. Yeah, we'll head back and probably do a, a floor. Maybe the, can finally put the roof in maybe. Well, but we'll, we'll figure that out tomorrow, okay? All right. <laughs> All right, so we'll figure that out tomorrow. We'll work, work on the base. But if we build another third farm in the nether, I want to build it probably over there because I want all my farms in render distance of like one screenshot. So I could turn my render distance right up to max and get a good screenshot of our very first project, which was the Baconator. And then now we've got the mega gold uh, XP bartering, automatic bartering system from, yeah, it's just cool. Cool, cool, cool. Everything is, is coming together. Two complete big builds already and we're only up to episode 26. How cool is that? <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all later.